Okay, so I'm in the car right now. I'm going to get these two disposable cameras, expo whatever. Um, so I'm going to get those and this whole video is going to be me kind of reacting to the pictures and I really want to get a regular analog film camera so I figured that if I used disposable cameras first I'd hopefully like it and then be able to invest my money in a camera that I really want so that's what I'm doing right now um, it's 10 30 August 6th so that's literally all this video is going to be about, but both of these were kind of not 100% right because they're supposed to have 27 exposures, but neither of them actually had 27. They had like no more than 23. So yeah, I'm excited to see what the pictures turned out like. So I'm obviously home now. It's around 1130, 12 o'clock, something like that. It really honestly took me longer to get there than to actually give them my cameras. But they said that it would take about two weeks, but I'm going to get a call when they're ready to be picked up. I think the negatives automatically come with it, um, just because she didn't ask if I wanted the negatives or not. So I'm hoping I get the negatives back, but I'm very excited. I guess I'll just have to wait two weeks. But I'm really excited. I got glossy paper, which I asked my mom after I got home, which I don't know why I didn't think about asking her before, but I was like, did they used to ask you like what kind of paper you wanted? And she said that she asked for matte. And so now I'm kind of nervous to get the glossy back, but I honestly don't think a lot of these pictures are really going to come out that great. So I'm kind of just hoping that this is almost more like a trial and the next time I get some disposable cameras or for whenever I invest in a normal 35mm camera um, that hopefully the pictures will turn out better and I'll maybe I'll like glossy paper but I know that all of our family photos are in matte and I really like how our family photos look so I'm crossing my fingers that I don't hate it completely. But I'm really excited, but also really nervous, but I have to wait two weeks, so I'm probably not really going to think about it that much. But it was only $12 per camera, which was really nice. I was expecting it to be a lot more than that. But yeah, so I guess I'll just have to check back in two weeks. Okay, so I'm vlogging on my phone for the time being because my camera actually didn't have an SD card in it. And we were just rushing out of the house, so I figured I'd just do this. But it is August 19th, almost two o'clock, and I'm out running errands with my mom, and I got a call while we were away in Rhode Island that actually my disposable cameras are ready to be, well, my film is ready to be picked up, so it's about two weeks, I think, after I, you know, like, turn them in to get exposed or whatever. So I'm super excited and I'm also going to be giving them the film from this. I have one more picture left that I have to take and then I guess I'll just show me unrolling the film but I'm very excited to see how those pictures came out. It's super long so I don't even remember what pictures I took but yeah that's basically what we're doing today. So I'm back home from running errands with my mom and these are the pictures as I'm talking or just after I'm done talking I'll show you guys some of the pictures and what they turned out like. And honestly, I'm really, really happy with the quality of a lot of these pictures. And just to give you guys a little bit of context on how long these cameras lasted me, the first camera I took the first picture, July 4th, and then the last picture I took was July 21st. The second camera was from July 28th to August 5th, so exactly eight days. And again, the quality of the pictures are honestly pretty good. I don't know why so many people are angry that disposable cameras are coming back. The grand scheme of things to me is basically that people that don't want to buy a camera like this or just a point and shoot have disposables to turn to. It's just a really cool process to go and get them exposed because you honestly do forget the pictures that you took. I know that with these, I was like, wait, I actually took a picture of that.
if you're someone like me who genuinely loves photography and loves everything about it, I wouldn't say that disposable cameras are for you. I know that for me, I was wishing that there were different settings that I could put on it or just, I felt very limited when taking pictures with them. Even though it is really nice that it's a fixed focus and all you have to worry about is using the flash, it would have still been nice to maybe have a macro mode or I don't know, like just something else just to kind of add to it. But I do have to say using the disposables were really fun. They're super small. You know, you still get a lot of pictures. With mine, I use the Fujifilm 400, like I said in the beginning of the video. But I actually had an issue with mine, so I reached out to Fujifilm and we got that resolved. But it's super cool and I would definitely use them if I'm going on a road trip or traveling just because of how compact they are. But when I was around the house, I was like, what in the world can I take a picture of? Like, I have flowers and the sunset, maybe even just cloud formations, but really that was about it. So maybe if you're going somewhere fun with your friends or going on a vacation, I would definitely recommend getting disposables. But other than that, you know, you don't have to buy one for every week. As for, I know that I don't, but I'm definitely going to buy some more in the future for when I know that there are certain events or things coming up. But I had so much fun looking at the pictures and being like, oh my goodness, I remember taking that picture. And I guess I'll just show you guys some of my favorites because I know I have at least 40 pictures here. And yeah, so that basically concludes this video. I'm gonna be making more videos on different analog cameras and the film and just kind of everything like that just because these are the videos that I love watching. But thank you guys so much for watching. Comment down below what disposable cameras you use or if you would want me to test different disposables. Like I just said, I use the Fujifilm 400 Quick Snap disposable camera, so that's basically the quality of these and I kind of knew what to expect because so many people use this camera but if you guys would want me to test out other disposables that would be a lot of fun but yeah so thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you next time bye